Training camp July 26th. It's around the corner, guys. It will be here before you know it. I want to talk about one of my favorite position groups, especially behind the starters, at the cornerback position. So uh, let's get into it. Now, there's two things I want to talk about here, and it's really, you know, as the starting cornerback group, you know, the starting corners, and then obviously what's behind what we have right now and what I'm excited for. And really, yeah, I'm excited for these starters, but I'm, I'm as, as well as excited for some of these backups, undrafted guys, you know, guys that, you know, I kind of want to see, man. I think this is going to be one of the most exciting training camps we've ever had because there's so many bodies, that, especially at this position, that is well needed. Just think about it. Because the first thing I kind of want to talk about is, you know, will Big Play Slay actually get an extension? Um, you know what I mean? Like he's only on contract, you know, throughout the 2023 season next year. And that's it. He is a free agent after that. So, um, I don't know, um, if he's going to get extended. I mean, if he plays well, then I would say, Hey, extend for another two years, you know, and just, you know, in case you want to do something next year and bring another young corner in, you know, in the draft or whatever they want to do. I don't know what's going to happen, but, uh, that's going to be up in the air. And I think, um, you know, there's still a whole nother year. Uh, another off season to give him an extension. So I think there's a lot of time on that. I don't think there's any any rush to give him an extension right now because there've been a lot of rumors and talks uh, about that. Um, and secondly, you know, I, I do like you know Avante Max has a couple more years on his contract. Love him in the nickel. I thought he played fantastic last year. I was very surprised they gave him an extension last year, which you know, they locked him in, which I was shocked because yeah, everyone has to say, you know see you know this free agency we had this year was part of that free eight locking up some of these players last year i mean that was pretty much part of our free agency locking up mulata and josh wet and some of these other guys that we did lock up so that was a part of our that was a part of our free agency that people need to understand that's why the money the money was you know you know it was okay i mean we were able to sign a couple guys you know but you can't really find any big marquee names but i know the eagles definitely turned it around and, and signed aj brown so i guess anything is possible uh but i want to talk about obviously you know james bradbury he's not going to be here after one year maybe not depending on the comp pick if they get a comp pick for james bradbury whatever the case may be i don't know how well he's going to play uh has been you know a pro bowler since you know hasn't been a pro bowler since 2000 2020, you know, gave up over 800 yards, you know, receiving last year, you know, and it's alarming a little bit, but at the same time, you know, he was the number one corner um, with the Giants and the Giants were an absolute dumpster fire defensively, you know what I mean? So I, I, I think, you know, Bradbury is, is coming onto a team that uh, I think he plays, you know, not much too, too much on his plate. Uh, and I think he's going to do really well. So we'll see what happens. I'm not saying that he's not, you know, he's going to be a shutdown or anything like that. I'm saying that he will give up some yards, but I think uh, in a collaborative effort with the rest of this defense, as long as Jonathan Gann doesn't fail this defense, I think he's going to play very well and, and definitely better for Jonathan Gann's system as a zone corner than man-to-man. Um, when it comes to what we have behind the cornerbacks, and here the video here I have is, is Tay Gowan, okay? I think one of the most exciting prospects I have in this cornerback group. I mean, and look, and there's a lot of cornerbacks we have right now, okay? Uh, you know, Tay Gowan, okay? He was like the 223rd pick, sixth round, 2021 draft. You know, the Eagles were supposed to draft him. And, you know, the Eagles and Tay Gowan were in a lot of talks. You know, the Eagles had a lot of interest in him, and, uh, you know, Zach Ertz gets traded, and they were able to get him from Arizona, which was great. You know, he you know, he showed up probably in a couple games, you know, at the you know, when we had some big leads last year and played a couple snaps here and there. Nothing crazy to excite me to say he's going to be good, he's going to be bad, I have no idea. But he's working his tail off as well as everybody else, you know, to see what we have behind, you know, in case if we don't have to, if we, you know, Slay's here for another year, so if Bradbury walks, you know, maybe they have somebody on this roster that – you know, I'm not, you know, that could take over that number two spot next year. I mean, not just Tay Gowan, but Zach McPherson, you know, Jimmy Moreland's another one that has probably the most experience in this cornerback room going into next year. You know, you have Kerry Vincent Jr., Mac McCain. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of bodies in this cornerback group. You know, Mario Goodrich got the most undrafted money. And usually when they give a lot of money to an undrafted guy and gets highly paid for what he's supposed to be getting paid, you know, they have, you know, they think that he's going to do something. You know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, I really, I really do feel like, uh, you know, maybe he can make some noise. Josh Job, obviously, you know, had the uh, foot surgery in, in December and, and didn't go to the SEC championship game. He played for Alabama. So, I mean, you know, it's another guy that's on the list, too. So there there are a lot of bodies <laughs> at this position right now. And, and Take Allen's probably one of my favorite ones to really watch out for. 
Um, you know what I mean? So because the Eagles had so much interest and they wanted to draft him last year and they just couldn't because Arizona took him. So um, you talk about this whole group, I, I feel like, you know, hopefully we find that rising star. I mean, it would be nice. I mean, the Eagles yet still today. I mean, thank God we traded for big play Slay, but, you know, the Eagles need to – we, we need to draft better defensively. We need to upgrade the cornerback position desperately. And I think they have some players here that hopefully could make noise uh, during this training camp into preseason. This is why I think this is going to be one of the most exciting training camps because for multiple positions, I think you have a lot of bodies, a lot of upside, and you have some pushback attitude with some of these players, which I really do like. You have some really, really good guys in the building right now. So um, I don't know what you guys think about, you know, Tay Gowan, Zach McPherson, you know, Josh Job, Mario Goodrich, um, you know, Jimmy Moreland. I mean, those are really on my list to be the backup corners. I mean, those are on my list right now. I don't know how many they're keeping them. They're probably going to keep, you know, six most likely. They probably keep six corners at this point. So to see like, and, you know, even with Zach McPherson last year, some of these guys that, you know, the past couple, you know, past couple years since the virus and everything like that, they didn't really have a chance to practice with the team. And it was a lot of virtual workouts and stuff like that. So um, I guess that cornerback is definitely one of the highlight spots going into training camp with the amount of depth that you have. And I know obviously they have to bring in as many bodies as possible, which that's what training camp's all about. You know, they're going to bring in, you know, a lot of players and then obviously trim it down. Um, and that's going to be all on Howie Roseman trimming this whole roster down, which is going to be kind of crazy. Um, so that's the next step to the whole process. But I would love to see, you know, and, and look at the Eagles. I don't want to dip in free agency anymore for cornerbacks. I don't want to get a – you know, unless it's going for a number two guy, because, you know, in the future, guys, if if, if Slay's not going to be here for a long time, like they got to find their guy. I'm not saying they're going to find it within this group, but they got to find their guy. And I feel like you'll have some really good pieces here, um, you know, if they really show up. And like, I'm not trying to hype these guys up, but I'm I'm if the anticipation is driving me insane. I'm not going to lie. Uh, with some of these corners that we have going into the competition of training camp to preseason this year, we're going to get a lot, see a lot of reps from some of these guys and see what they're all about and see what they could do. So, um, other than that, guys, pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about, you know, big play slate. You think he'll get, you think he'll get an extension. Do you think they need to try to find this corner by next year? They draft early next year and get a corner. Do you want to dip in the free agency again? Um, and who do you, I mean, who do you think as your favorite backup cornerback or what do you think the five or, you know, the, the six are probably going to keep on this roster and who's the most exciting one behind our starters do you think is going to, is going to really shine out during training camp and, um, and preseason. So you guys let me know about that. Um, like I said, one of my favorite positions going into training camp, going to keep a close eye on this. Um, and that's pretty much it. So all right, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one. Shakes what up, follow slide. Peace out guys. Peace.